All right, we're here at Liberty University, getting ready for a hike. And guess what? Have you seen that commercial, Ken.com, on YouTube? Yeah, baby! Oh yeah! We are ready to rock and roll. Let's get going. Yeah! Before I get started, let's talk about a non-woke university. I bet they don't teach no critical race theory here at Liberty University, I can tell you that right now. Look at these facilities. You can't even see the one back here. I mean, this university has everything. If you want to send your kid to a place to get an education that's not woke, send them here. Liberty University. Now, let's talk about the hike. Now, I park in this lower parking lot because there's plenty of places to park. <laughs> and I know my car will be safe here because they always have patrols out. Now, what we're going to do is you go up these stairs right here. This was Candler's Mountain Road. Anybody in Lynchburg, if you ever want to do this hike. And then I'm going to hike up the mountain. And we'll get some video of that, because I guarantee you my heart rate is going to be way the hell up. Way up, because that is one steep hike right there. And then once I get up on top of the mountain, we'll continue on from there. Let's get going. Woohoo! And I got the samurai sword now. I'm ready for a carjacker. When I get through Atlanta, you want to carjack me? Better have a gun. Let's get going. The last time I was here in Lynchburg, I made the Alaskan Guide tent video. And I was talking about Lynchburg's got rock and roll. <laughs> I grew up in this stupid town. We had the worst music in the planet. Oh my God. I think they played the Elvis Presley and uh, you know, I mean, not that I hate Elvis or anything, but I mean, I'm telling you, it was all the old repeats. Now I'm listening to rock and roll. And the heart rate is up, because I'm going straight uphill. I don't know if the camera is conveying how uphill this is, because, you know, I'm used to hiking in Florida. <laughs> and we don't have mountains down there, you know what I mean? Woo! But this is what the trail looks like. That's why I like it. That's why I park down below so that I can come up this and get my exercise. But this is kind of what this trail is going to look like until I get to the uh, ski facility. And we'll get another video there. And you can see what that looks like. That's uh, They ski here in uh, Lynchburg, Virginia year round. <laughs> I don't know where Liberty University came up with this stuff. Anyway, I'm going to cut off here. I'm going to have a heart attack here in just a second. Alright, let's get going. Huh. Right, I feel like my damn heart's going to beat right through my chest. Florida man is here. <laughs> and he ain't used to these damn mountains. But you know what? I'm climbing up this trail and this just ends up at the ski facilities. But look at here. I don't remember this trail being here. Let's take this trail. Never hiked it before. This would be cool. Maybe this is a different way up to the ski facility. Or it's just going to loop around the mountain. I don't know. But we're going to find out. And guess what? It's going up. <laughs> Woo! Who needs a damn gym? Just come out here and hike at Liberty University. I can't wait. I'm hoping to see some students. I want to ask them how woke the university is. I want to see whether they're teaching that critical race theory here at Liberty University. I kind of doubt it. I kind of doubt it. But uh, who knows? Maybe. And I'm going to ask them if they hate the United States. You know, because that's where all them uh, Harvard uh, University students need to go. They need to move to Cuba, man. Tell them to move to Cuba. Oh, no. Send them, send them to Venezuela. Woohoo! Let's get going. So I wanted to show how much money Liberty spends on these trails. I mean, look at this, it's cut in. 
I'm literally hiking along the side of a mountain and you can see look at that they cut it in so that it is somewhat level you know it's not like I'm hiking on a slope here I can't imagine the amount of work it took to cut this trail in so here we go I see it veering off to the right I was a little bit worried it was going to take me back to the sports facility and I'd have to start over again <laughs> but, but I, I don't think that's going to happen let's just keep on going but I did want to point out how this trail is cut in and uh, man I tell you they my hats off to Liberty University this is pretty amazing okay the trail uh it forked off down below and I wasn't sure if it was just going to take me down to the uh, facility so I took the right fork and man I don't know if you can see how steep that is I'm going right up the mountain <laughs> oh man I'm telling you it's, uh, it's a brutal hike but okay look at the trees huh we got the fall season here it is quite beautiful quite beautiful so this is uh, quite interesting. I can't say I've ever been here before. I don't even know where I'm at. I'm on some sort of road. Looks like the trail continues on this way. I'm gonna follow this road just for a little bit. This must be new. I don't remember this being here. I guess this uh, goes somewhere. Maybe I'll bring the car up here and we'll travel this road. I'm. I'm just going to come up here and take the right and see if I can get over to that ski facility. Hope not too much wind noise is coming across on the speaker here. Can't help that. <clears throat> didn't bring the, uh, the noise reducer because I didn't know it was going to be so windy today. Let's keep on going. So that says Liberty University 1971. Maybe that's when the Liberty University was founded. And that's a private drive. Let's get lost. <laughs> Because I don't have a clue. I mean, what the hell? This trail here, who knows where I'm going? Let's get on the mountain. What do you got to say? Holy moly, that's actually a kind of nice trail here, you know? I've never been over here. I didn't even know these trails existed. There's another trail going back this way, but might go up to the ski lodge. I don't know, when we finish up today, wherever I end up, we'll try to get a shot of that ski, ski slope. You got to see it. It's something else. But you can see it's just kind of uh, just hiking through the woods on the side of a mountain. <clears throat> Pretty nice. I mean, I tell you what, there are so many trails here. And I have met multiple people that got lost in here. And I've gotten lost myself. And I'm sure I'm going to be lost today. <laughs> but occasionally you do see a student out here and I'll ask him for directions. Hey, how do I get back to the ski lodge, man? I'm telling you, I've been hiking around for two hours and I can't find my way out of here. All right, let's keep going. So as I'm hiking along, I see this orange post here. And if you know the purpose of that, leave a comment below. Because <laughs> I'm just looking at it and it says KO. Why is there an orange post here with a KO sign on it? I don't have a clue. All right, I always try to get the weird shit on the video. Let's keep on going. Just want to show you what the trail's looking like. Now I'm on the, I'm on the side of the mountain. I've never been to before. I, I, well, I never even knew these trails existed. You know, I mean, we're going to get quite lost back here. So, uh, who knows? Maybe I'll be hiking out in the dark again. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, it was like 9 o'clock at night before I got back to my car on that last hike. Holy moly. I couldn't see where I was putting my feet even on the bike trail. And then, oh, I didn't tell the story. Oh, my God. The bike trail was closed. They actually had these fences across it. So I actually, in the dark, had to hike down into the woods to get around the fences. And why, I mean, all it was was they had some, uh, some heavy equipment there once I got around the fence. And then, of course, I had a second fence, and I had to get around that fence. Of course, I'm getting running into trees and <laughs> stepping on sticks and stuff trying to get around them fences, you know. Because I, I didn't know, and now I know why... I, couple people were asking me where are you going where are you going I said I got to get back to the church that's where I parked my car you know and they would they gave me a look like wow you you're crazy hiking in the dark <laughs> trying, to, trying to get back to your car you know the, they, nobody told me that the damn thing was closed you know but uh, well, of course I didn't have a choice I mean what else am I gonna do I had to get back to the car 
So let's just hope I can find the car sometime, sometime today. Because <laughs> you can see, uh, there ain't nobody here. <laughs> and uh, I don't have a clue where I'm at. I mean, I, I kind of know the mountain just a little bit, but not, I've never, like I said, never been on this side. This is very interesting. All right. So the trail brought me to right here. It says my location is I-6, I suppose, if I had a map. But there's a number of directions that I can go. Let's see what we got here. This is Champion Road, 1.7 miles. Okay, all-purpose trail. There you could go up the mountain, right there. There's another trail. Danger, do not enter a construction zone. Fallen rock hazard. So this is Monogram Road. I assume that that's where we got off was back there. But let's go 1.7 miles down Champion Road. I mean, I could go up the mountain this way, but I don't know, man. I I know that they're pretty sure this might lead me to the, um, they got a huge uh, swimming area for the students. And I think I've been down this road before, but uh, well, what the hell, you know, I, because if I go that way to the left over here, I know I'm hitting way the hell away from the car. At least I think when I go this way, maybe I'm kind of circling, circle back sake, huh? <laughs> circle back sake. So let's circle back. So I just wanted to get a quick clip because I know the lighting's going to be good right here. So we're more or less just hiking down a road. Like I said, we could have taken that other trail, but I know that that was taking me a hell of a lot further away from my car. I mean, eventually, <laughs> I gotta find find my way somewhere. We, we'll see, we're going 1.7 miles down this road. Uh, now, I don't know, I hope it's not just a dead end. I, I assume it ends in something, or maybe another trail. If it ends up where I think it's gonna end up, I kinda know that territory. I've hiked that before. Certainly never hiked this road before. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. But you know, this is kind of what you, if you ever did this hike, uh, somebody in Lynchburg watched this video, uh, that's a nice hike. I mean, if you want to just come out, get, get in nature and uh, smell the fresh air. Oh my God, does the air smell good here. I love it, I love it, I love it. You see what I mean here? You could come back here and hike around for, I mean, we will. I mean, I'm going to be coming back. I mean, we're going to make multiple videos. This is called Psychopath. I guess at some point I got to get a map and uh, you know this uh, this this is a treasure for Lynchburg Virginia I'm still on Champion Road I did meet a woman jogger she was a professor here at the college I didn't ask her any questions I was just wondering if this was going to take me to the lake and she said uh, I'm heading in the right direction and because uh, I did want to get that on the video uh, you can see there there's another path I mean now, holy moly you could literally just hike around this mountain for days and days and days by the way, I did want to say, uh, you know, unlike uh, my other hikes, you wouldn't want to come back here in the evening, you know, because uh, getting yourself lost in the forest. <laughs> well, well, I didn't. And of course, I don't have a headlamp on because it's, it was noon when I started. But uh, you could you could spend hours and hours back here and uh, until you find your way out. And I'm assuming I'll be out of here by six o'clock this evening at least i hope so because that's when it gets dark about you know here in lynchburg so i got six hours to find my way out but uh what i'm saying is you get an early start if you're going to come here to liberty mountain and uh do these crazy hikes or candler's mountain whichever way you want to look at it i look at it as liberty mountain now because they own the whole thing so uh yeah it looks like another trail coming up so I could, I could take any one of these trails, but I'm going to hike this road to the end. That way, at least I know I've done Champion Road. I'm kind of a, like a song, isn't it? There's another trail. <laughs> See what I mean? This is uh, alternate flight pattern. No clue. But we're just going to do Champion Road for sure. That way, at least I can say I knocked out one trail. And we'll come back and maybe get a couple of these other trails. Try to get a map. Uh, I'm gonna, if I see the sign... I'll show you what it looks like and what we did today. So uh, let's just enjoy the day. So while I'm hiking along here, <clears throat> thought I'd give y'all just a little bit of history. Uh, you know, my father, 
William Ellis. I give him a shout out, the recreation director of Lynchburg in the 70s and the 80s. Uh, he was good friends uh, with Jerry Falwell. I don't know if you, anybody remembers that name, but Jerry Falwell was the, the individual, he had a Thomas Road Baptist Church. And uh, he started out, you know, just with the one church. And then uh, I don't know how in the world he grew it. It was like uh, that Graham guy. And uh, next thing you know, uh, he is just, he's buying a mountain <laughs> and he's establishing a university. And uh, I assume his children are carrying on his uh, legacy. Uh, talk about uh, knowing somebody famous. And back then, you know, I did not, uh, I did not value the fact that we had a conservative uh, university going in here in Lynchburg, uh, let's just say it that way. And, uh, you know, now you can see uh, the, the value of uh, having Jerry Falwell and his creation. And look here, you know, you could take the left. I'm going to stay on this. I think I'm, like I said, I just want to get all the champion road in. But I just wanted to throw out that little tidbit of history. Uh, one, uh, one other thing, uh, one of the guys, uh, you know, I've told my Marine Corps stories, especially the one about when I, we blew up that tank turret and chunks of metal were landing all around us. And uh, one of the guys uh, that uh, helped me in that endeavor was Big D, Big Dillard. And uh, he was a football player on the Liberty University football team. Of course, back then, uh, you know, the football team was in its infancy, but I tell you what, he was a big guy, strong too. Uh, I think he lifted that tank turret lid all by himself pretty much. Uh, with a couple other guys helping him out but uh yeah big d uh give him a shout out who knows where he's at uh but uh you know i was just thinking of him hiking down this trail because i was thinking of liberty university and uh man you should see it i mean the stadium here it rivals any uh, pro football stadium in the country and uh liberty uh down james madison where i went to school has been winning the national championship here in virginia quite often so, but I haven't been following along, but if I meet a student, I'm going to find out how Liberty's doing, because uh, I imagine they, they're going to start winning national championships. No doubt about it. <clears throat> this university is just massive now. They own half of Lynchburg. All right, let's keep on going. Just a little, little story for you. You're just uh, continuing down the champion road. We'll finish this off today, and then I got to find my way back to my car. <laughs> Who knows how long that's gonna take? Oh my goodness. I'm way the hell back in here somewhere. I, who knows where the hell I'm at? <clears throat> All right See look at here Split decision so you could go on that trail. We're still gonna send you down champion road I'm telling you you could come here and hike Well, we will you know while I'm here in Lynchburg but I do want to get up on the parkway and do some of those trails. And I wanted to show you the Appalachian Trail um, on another day. But that's going to require an early start. Like I said, I got here at noon. So I figured I'd be okay hiking this. But uh, in order to get up on the parkway, I need to take off about, uh, well, 9 in the morning, get up there. Because uh, it's to take me a good hour or two or three driving to get to where I want to go. Um, but let's just keep on going. Just wanted to show you all the trails back here. It's incredible. It's incredible. I mean, you could, you could literally hike around back here for days and days, you know. And we will. We will. We're going to cover some of these trails. Let's keep going. Just getting a brief clip. I thought this was quite beautiful. We're making a turn on uh, Champion Road, coming around here. But looking off in the distance here, you know, kind of looks like uh, maybe clears out down there. Who knows? But look at this. Isn't this awesome now? See, now the sun's kind of on my left. So, circle back, Saki. Circle back. You know, for just hiking a road, this is quite beautiful. Look at this, kind of going along a ravine. I always love looking down in ravines. And it's kind of winding around. Boy, I couldn't. I wish you could smell the air here. Oh, my God. I, if I had any COVID in my lungs, it's gone now. <laughs> So we always got to get the wildlife on the, on the video. Check him out. I'm talking about trying to scare you, little guy. You don't see this turtle in Florida. Let's get him up close. There you go. Oh, look at him. All right. Let's leave him be.